they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never... <laughs> That's not funny. That's not... <laughs> well, here it is. My official debut, I guess. I mean, I did make that one video. Hey, my name's Clitoria, and my spirit's unbreakable just like my- uh, I, I just wanted to talk about Batman number 50. Heard about it? Well, it's stupid. Let's dive into why. If you haven't heard about what's going on, for two years, DC built up that Batman and Catwoman were getting married, and then, well, they just- they didn't. Why? Because, well, according to DC, Batman needs to be sad to be a good hero. Yeah. Well, that's basically the gist, and fans, including myself, are understandably pissed. What's only more aggravating for fans, other than the waste of time and money for the past two years, is the tone-deaf responses from DC Comics and Tom King. Ha ha ha, psych! They aren't getting married! Now please buy 15 more issues, we promise to really do it this time! Uh, you two can fuck right off. But you know, after two years, fans want a payoff, especially the ones that bought every issue and crossover and variant. It's just a real slap in the face when you yank the rug right off from under them, causing them to fall down the stairs and break their DC themselves said, if it's not the book we think we want, it's the book that we need. Uh, I didn't know Mama Odie started working at DC. What the DC rep here is basically saying is, um, you're too stupid to know what you need, so we're gonna tell you. But it's not the book that we needed. We've already seen Batman broken, and angry, and depressed. We have already had that story a thousand times, and it's so fucking boring at this point. What I hate most about this book is that it reinforces the idea that a happy Batman cannot be an effective Batman unless he is mentally ill, depressed, and angry, which is just stupid. I really doubt that Bruce Wayne is going to become so deliriously happy from getting married that he stops fighting crime. Oh, what's that, man? You're getting mugged? Oh, well, I'm married now, and I'm really happy, so fucking good luck with that. He is already happy in a lot of ways, just from his family alone. Getting married to the woman he loves would not cause him to stop helping people. Even in alternate universes, where Bruce's parents are alive, he becomes a doctor. You know why that is? Because helping people is what Bruce Wayne does. It's how Thomas and Martha raised him, and it's just who he is as a person. The only reason he goes to such extreme lengths now is because of the extreme trauma he suffered as a child. And as somebody who suffers from PTSD themselves, let me tell you, finding things that make you happy or enjoyment do not undermine the trauma that you endured or how it shaped you. Finding things that make you happy or bring you enjoyment won't magically heal you or change you in some mystical way, but they can help you ease, at most, the pain sometimes. Selena Kyle would never just leave Bruce waiting at the altar for an hour. First of all, that's stupid. And second of all, it's just horrible character writing. It's horribly out of character for her. Selena Kyle would have made the choice to leave well in advance to the wedding. And regardless, she would have told Bruce to his face. Not just left a note and made him wait like that. Nor would she ever think him being happy would undermine his role as a hero. Because that's dumb. I've read just a few issues of this arc. Uh, mostly because I've been having money issues and I didn't want to put a lot of money into something that I wasn't really sure that DC would go through with anyways. For some dumb reason, I still wanted to believe that this was really going to happen. And DC and Tom King really marketed it that way. I think I would have been uh, just a little more placated with Selena leaving Bruce if her issues had been for her having to work on herself. The things I have seen of her over in this arc are her questioning whether she's a hero or a good person. It would have made more sense for her to say, you know what, Bruce, I don't know who I am right now, and I need to work on that. Not, I love you, so I want you to be miserable. Bye! I realized that she was tricked into leaving by this janky-ass Holly Robinson character, but it still just does not make sense. Selena has never believed that Bruce needed to be miserable to be a hero. Their romance has always been her showing him quite the opposite. And that's just why this doesn't make sense to a lot of fans, and that's why it's really upsetting. Tom King talks about how much he loves writing them together, how much he loves the characters, but he doesn't seem to understand them. 
and he doesn't seem to understand their romance as much as he keeps going into the past of it. It's just bad writing. So, I guess basically what I'm trying to say with this video is, Tom Hardy sucks. Cause I really, I've had enough of this dude. It's kind of run out of the frame. Well, okay. What are you doing? This art hurt me! This art sucks! Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. Come down and have another cup of coffee. I am, bro. All right, well, fine. You know what, Barney? Give this guy a cigarette. He's freaking out. Huh? Who? Barney. He's the guy who tipped me off to Pepe Silvia. Barney? Who the hell is Barney? You don't see Barney. Oh, shit. What the hell are you? You've lost your mind. You've lost your goddamn mind, Charlie.